Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Happy Tuesday to you from Disneyland right here on Main Street USA. Actually, Main Street USA is that way. The park just opened a very short while ago. In fact, you can see some of the cast member employees dressed as police officers with their Mickey hands high-fiving all the guests as they enter the happiest place on earth. Main Street USA, all decorated for Halloween. People getting their picture in front of the huge Mickey Mouse shaped pumpkin at the threshold, the non nether regions, if you will, of Main Street USA. Castle straight ahead that way. Train station right over there. But I want to show you something even more fantastically historic a little Walt Disney tidbit right when you enter through the front gates when you come through the gates go to your left go through the tunnel underneath the train station to the left walk through past City Hall and you will see the Disneyland Fire Department straight ahead of us there the doors open the bell still up top the flag it's not very windy, so it's not really waving and nestling in the wind, but it could be. This is a place of imagination. To just imagine that flag right up there waving in the wind. Very cool. It's my second channel, Daily Blog channel. It's the Daily Woo. It's very early. I'm actually going to walk down after this vlog is finished. Down Main Street, there's actually a little coffee place. It's actually one of those little food carts, kind of like that food cart that's right over there, but they actually serve coffee. I haven't found a food cart right when you enter the park that has coffee, so I usually walk down by the castle and get myself a small coffee to start the day. And what better way to start this day than with a coffee? But first, we have to accomplish this vlog here on the Daily Woo, and I'm talking about the Disneyland Fire Department. Now, fire departments in general are usually pretty fantastic to adults and children alike. People are fascinated by old school fire trucks and the likelihood of that awesome subject. But there is something even more fantastic. Let me get up and show you the little tidbit, which a lot of Disney fans, they all know this. But maybe those that are watching might not have any idea that this actually exists in the history of Walt Disney. In fact, his apartment was right up there. -ka -kong -ka -kong -ka -kong 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 -kong. That was Walt Disney's apartment. In fact, they leave the light on all the time as a symbol, a beacon, an homage to Walt Disney. And you can see, if you can see with the glare, it is pretty glary up there. But normally at night, that shines through there, which is very cool. They always leave the light on here in honor and respect the creator, the imagination behind Disneyland, Walt Disney. And you can actually go inside the fire department. Let's go in here. This clock is obviously not working. That says 2.30 a.m. or p.m. It's morning time, right after the gates open. It's definitely not 2.30. It's probably around 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., 9.30, 10 a.m., 11 a.m. I'm not even sure what time it is because I have not had my coffee. But look at this. This is where the horses would have been kept. And here's an old school fire, not a truck, but it's a horse-drawn carriage. But they would put out fires back in the old day. And look at that. That saddle, actually that's a horse bit, has the D for Disney engraved on the side of it. There's a little horse trough where a horse can wet his whistle. Horses don't drink coffee. They drink water normally in a trough just like that. You'll notice I'm not wearing my glasses. I rode a ride yesterday. I took my glasses off my signature Adam the Woo glasses. I put them in my pocket when I got out of the ride. They were crushed broken. I had to discard them. They are somewhere in a Disneyland trash can. I'm actually buy another pair today. They actually do sell the white versions here. So I'm on a mission to get that. Look at this. 
Look at that. That's the pole. You can slide up and down. Oh, that's awesome. Those kids, I like a, a fire. The fire truck pulling buggy was making that honking noise, but in reality, I think it was just one of the cars driving down Main Street outside. The story around this pole, the urban legend, I don't know if it's true or not, but when Walt Disney was still alive, his apartment was right up there and the story was that one day a park guest, a child, climbed up this pole and through the hole, Walt Disney was tuckered out. He was very tired after walking around his original Magic Kingdom right here at Disneyland. He was taking a little nap up there and the child surprised him by crawling up the pole. So after that, Walt decided we should probably close that up because I don't want anybody slithering up this pole because once one person does it then everybody else just does it then you're gonna have a line of people out the door slithering slithering up and down <coughs> all right so there you go a little tidbit of Walt history here at Disneyland of course, my friend Justin Scard from Live Fast, Die Poor, he is the self-proclaimed aficionado, and let's be honest, he does know a lot about Walt Disney history and Disneyland history, especially he is the one that originally told me about this little tidbit, so I must give credit to him, even though this is a pretty common knowledge thing to Disney fans, but I've only been coming to Disneyland for about a year and a half now. Walt Disney World was a place I grew up at, went a million times. And now I've kind of transponded over to the West Coast a lot, and I visit here quite a few times, and today is one of those times. I'm actually gonna go back to my hotel. I got a hotel right off property, about a mile away, a half mile away. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna upload this vlog, because yesterday uploading the vlog in the park took forever. So I'm gonna upload the vlog, and then I have a main channel Adam the Woo video that I will be uploading on the Adam the Woo channel later this afternoon, and then I will be back at Disneyland tonight. So if you're in the area, and you're at Disneyland, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links can be found down below. And I'm gonna give you one last look at Walt's apartment, Walt's original apartment here at Disneyland. Awesome, in fact, there's a little porch up there that he used to sit on. And here's another little spoiler tidbit. On the back side of those trees is the Jungle Cruise. So Walt could have sat up there, looked at all the guests coming in Main Street, happy, ready to have a good day, and then looked over into the rivers of the jungle on the opposite side. All right, have a great day. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. In fact, I'll see you tomorrow, but only if you subscribe up here, and maybe tomorrow, hopefully, I will have purchased a new pair of glasses. In fact, I'm gonna go in the aquarium right now and see if they have them. All right, see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.